The court just dropped the second batch of Jeffrey Epstein documents. Now, this batch has 19 different documents with a few hundred pages included. Certainly not as big as the drop last night. Again, these are depositions, though, court filings, and emails included in the 2015 civil defamation lawsuit filed by Epstein's most recognizable victims, Virginia Gouffre, against Epstein's convicted co-conspirator, Ghislaine Maxwell. Now, this batch of documents does have somewhat of a list, but it's not the kind of list I think you guys are looking for. This batch of documents includes a list of witnesses Virginia Gouffre is demanding give testimony in her civil defamation case against Maxwell. She says these people may have knowledge of Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein's criminal acts involving her. They include doctors, billionaires, employees, pilots, and friends of Epstein. Now, the only name on that list that I think most people would recognize is William Jefferson Clinton, also known as former President Bill Clinton. In one of the documents, Gouffre is trying to have Clinton testify about what he knew. Now, the rest of the documents are depositions from doctors who Gouffre says will validate her claims of psychological and psychiatric injuries and the resulting medical expenses that she had to pay for and deal with because of the lies she said Maxwell was spreading about her by denying Dufresne's claims of abuse. The documents also include a deposition of a Palm Beach detective who was investigating how these minor girls ended up giving massages at Epstein's house. He said Ms. Maxwell was involved in seeking girls to perform massages and work at Epstein's home. When asked, how many girls are we talking about? The detective responded, I would say approximately 30. 33. Now, there are several places in this batch of documents that have redactions. That means things are blacked out. And the court says that is because they contain personally identifiable information about victims that could threaten their safety or privacy. So if you want to read these documents, I will again, as I did last night, email them out to you in my News Girl News Roundup email. So make sure you sign yourself up.